morning. I bought M Cosmetics. It's something that I've been wanting to try for the longest time. M Cosmetics is not available for shipping in Malaysia. Since I'm here, I'm taking the opportunity to buy some products. This is the Divine Skies eyeshadow palette in Rodin. Oh my gosh! I'm all for neutral palette. I need like a variety of neutrals. Wow, it's super pigmented. Okay, so I'm just using Sculpt. One my non-existent crease and this is the heaven's glow radiant veil blush in magic hour this is how the blush looks like it is known for having this sheen even if you don't want to use a highlighter you can not use a highlighter because it already makes you look like you're glowing that's why it's called heaven's glow not that you look like you're going to heaven but you look like you came from heaven I'm ready to head out. Today I'm going to spend my time alone in the city because my sister is going to work and I just want to explore a little bit. America feels kind of unsafe so I bought myself a pepper spray. I got it in hot pink from Target. It comes in a black, a hot pink and a lavender. My sister got the lavender one which is really cute. I would always go for the black color option if there is a black color. My only reason for picking up a hot pink instead is because all of my stuff are black. So like for safety reasons, I wouldn't be able to like find this in my bag. So I just got a hot pink one. This is what I'll be wearing to the city today. This is courtesy of Yanshan. Rebecca looks super cool with her black scrubs. That is where I'm headed to. Goodwill, I'm actually passing by NYU. Around this area, you can see a lot of students. They all look super young. But I think I can blend in just fine because I have Asian jeans. But anyway, making a pit stop at the Washington Square Park. The weather forecast did me dirty, guys. It was supposed to be like 24 to 26 degrees today but it's actually like 28 degrees now so I'm like melting in my denim jacket not fun I know technically I can remove my jacket but I'm just too lazy to hold it so I'll just melt and I am here this is me stepping out of my comfort zone anything for cheap clothes save money I'm now in the Goodwill store. Apparently this is one of the best in the area. I think it's really cool that they already put out the price out there so it's easier for you to refer to. What I'm looking for is an oversized blazer. Blazer start from $9.99. 
It's not like it's big enough. They also have shoes here. $9.99. Oh, this one is cute too. $19.99. I can't seem to find good women's blazer that is like oversized enough. And there's not much selection. But right now I'm at the men's section and they have quite a lot of stuff. Like this one from Zara Men. Technically, I can just get a men's blazer because it will be oversized on me anyway, which is the look that I'm going for. So I'm gonna try these two. I have a feeling it's over oversized, but we'll see. As expected, it's a bit too oversized. It's really light though. I like the material, the weight. It's just a bit too big. Right now, I'm just gonna give it another shot by going to another Goodwill. It's on West 14th Street, which is about a nine minutes walk away. And I'm here. There are bags. Probably girls one are kind of small, not oversized enough. Yeah, I'm gonna go try the guy section. I'm gonna try this. Okay, at this Goodwill, I only found one. This is actually not bad, but again, it's oversized. I think if it's one size smaller, I can get away with it. My only issue is the the shoulder pads. It's like too big. Next up is Sephora. So I'm out of my day moisturizer and also my setting powder, so that's the two things that I must get today. This is what I'm looking for. Oh no, I wanted to get this one, which is the Laura Messier's translucent powder in mini, but I think they're out. Oh, perfect. I found it here. This is by the checkout. I stumbled on a really cute shop as I arrived. Honestly, I'm really liking these New York Skyline ones. Stickers are super cute. This is me right here. I seriously, if you want cute souvenirs to bring back home, you should definitely visit the store because everything is very unique and very fun, not like a typical tourist souvenir. They have like tote bags. So next, I'm headed to Nordstrom. I really want to get a bodysuit that looks something like this but with square neck so today I'm just gonna try out the different shades because online I can't really determine which shade will suit me best Oh, I actually quite like this one this is definitely one size too small for me this is an XXS but I quite like this color it does make me look a little bit tan but I quite like it. This material is like super soft. So I tried sand, mica, and clay. Out of these three colors, I'm definitely not getting sand. It's too light and yellow. The closest to my skin tone would be mica, which is a bit more pink, or even closer is clay. So most likely, I'm just gonna get sienna. It makes me look a little tan, but I really like it. It looks very chic. I got myself two slices of pizza. This is actually super nostalgic to me because the last time when I was in New York, I didn't have much money, so I bought it. Ooh. I bought one pepperoni and one mushroom. Okay, guys, I've arrived home and I'm like super sweaty right now because. 
the weather forecast as I mentioned earlier did me really dirty it's supposed to be like 24, 25 or 26 at most instead it's like 27 to 28 when you're in a four seasons country you will realize that one degree celsius makes a lot of difference so earlier at the 99 cents pizza place I couldn't really vlog or talk much because there was a homeless man around and I didn't want him to steal my pizza like I've seen TikTok there's a man on the subway who just grabbed someone's rice and ran out I don't want that happening to my pizza although it's just like four dollars but still it's my pizza and I want to eat it because I paid for it basically why it is so nostalgic to me is because um, when I was on my exchange program I made a short trip to New York City and my friend Justice and I we bought 99 cents pizza I sat on the steps of the UN like entrance because it was already nighttime so they weren't open but anyway I wanted to thank you guys for following me on my first ever day out alone in the US. Up till yesterday, I've been going around with my sister, so today is the first day where I actually get to explore places on my own. It was definitely something I really needed. There will be more videos like this in the upcoming week, so make sure you give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel to watch more. If you're local or you've been here, let me know what are your favorite places to go to in New York City and also Brooklyn. Rebecca's home. Hi. Dinner. We are cooking dinner right now. We are having steak. We have wow. mushrooms on the side and some corn. I love corn! And we're gonna eat our pizza on the side. Dinner is served. Mm, I love corn. I love corn. 